welcome back. Um, uh, be, before we, we go into another issue, maybe to, to signify how the religious discourse is going and efforts by uh, religious um, uh, leaders, um, um, and then go uh, to, our, to resume our discussion, we'll be taking a look at uh, the following report, which was prepared by Now TV's uh, Dina Huaydak. Um, uh, His Holiness Pope to address uh, the second Pope of Alexandria. Uh, uh, said that the, uh, he met actually with a delegation of 47 uh, journalists and media fig uh, figures in the Cathedral of St. Mark, um, which is the oldest and biggest church in Africa, uh, in order to strengthen the relations between Egypt and uh, Africa. In uh, the meeting, the Pope expressed the importance of religion, uh, religious unity and exchange of visits between uh, Muslims and Christians. And maybe this highlights how the religious figures are um, attempting to bridge the gap. And after we look at the report, we'll go back to, is it really religious or are we politicizing it? Right after this. The African delegation of media uh, was a very good visit. Uh, to the Coptic Church. I think that uh, uh, most of them don't know anything about the Coptic Church, about the Egyptian Church, uh, but now they are familiar for the Church and for the history, uh, especially that the Church of Egypt uh, considered the first oldest church in Africa. Uh, you can consider that church is the mother of all churches in Africa. And some mark the evangelists considered as evangelists for all uh, African countries. All the religious occasions between uh, Muslims and Christians in Egypt, we are very happy. Uh, uh, we uh, exchange little bit the visits between the two uh, the Muslims and the Christians um, as I uh, mentioned that the Grand Imam visit us weeks during our celebration with the Easter um, and uh, the relation very good and very high thanks to God uh, welcome back um, the reason why we're, we're, um, we chose to air uh, this, uh, this interview or this statement by the Pope is to show that we have active religious figures who are adamant on spreading the right or the correct image about religions and how religions, the holy books, have called for a unification. But at the same time, even though we have this on one side, Yet, we have strong political movement that is bent on the destruction, especially of this region, and the weakening not only of the Middle East, but the African region. What can we do to confront this? Because we have a one uh, high-level delegate coming, a high-level delegate going, but at the end of the day, do we really have, or let me be straight into the point here, is the U.S playing the role it might have played in the 70s during the Camp David Agreement. Is it playing the peace broker's role when it comes to the Palestinian question, which is really the backbone of a lot of problems in this region. Without the resolving of the Palestinian question, there will not be peace and stability, not for the region, but for the world at large. Is the U.S. playing this role now? Well, even if President Obama used to play this role, in uh, this year, he has, we have elections in, in the United States. So, you know, he has no time for those problems in the region. And it was in the Obama doctrine, you know, he said it, the, you know, frankly. Mm. Meanwhile, in, uh, in the UK, this referendum of the unity of the secession of the European Union. In France, we are preparing for the new election, presidential elec elections, and Hollande is not, you know, mm. uh, thanks for him that he started the initiative, the one that was rejected by uh, Barack, uh, by Netanyahu. So, and even if they need to do something, they have no time this year. But coming to your question, is it religious, religious, 
account or is it politicized? Right. You know, if you go to the two institutions, the 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 Al Azhar and the churches, the churches, even the three churches, the Orthodox, the Anglican, the Catholic, you know, those are institutions concerned with religion. Mm. But if you go to the rank and file, they are here, movement, political movement, using religion as a, as a, a, as a cover. As a cover. Yes. As a cover. Mm. And this can be used anywhere. And this can be used by anyone. Why is it that it only surfaced loud and clear after 9-11? Eleven was part of it. We we lived in the in the in, the, in this era, you know, since in the seventies. Mm -hmm. I explained for you. Mm -hmm. We do it. We had a association of uh, of uh, Dahabi. We had a lot of we had a lot of trials to assassinate uh, journalists, ministers, and so on. We have Farak Fouda. We have. Um, it's an endless list. Yes. Mm. And the incident of Al Uqsar in 1997, You know, we lived in it in a, in a whole decade, you know, of mm. time. Mm. And 9/11 was very famous because it happened on American land, mm. but happened on Egyptian land. It is not considered to be something great. You don't, you don't have Hollywood behind you to, to mm. do all the drama. We don't have the, the White House, you know. We don't, we don't have, have Hollywood. We don't have <laughs> the CIA. It, it is, you know. Okay. It, when it happened on American land, this was the, the, the disaster. Mm. But when it, it went on going on hap happening on Saudi land, on Egyptian land, this was nothing for the West. Yes, you see. Uh, we have a minute left. Can you please do a quick... Uh, of your thoughts, I know you are going to do a comment. So. Yeah, I believe that uh, first of all, the Americans will not do anything to solve the Palestinian question. Okay. And President Obama said it frankly, mm. recently said there is no time to do such effort mm. because we have short time left to him in the White House. So I remember sorrowfully I was there in Cairo University when he came. Mm. And many people had great hopes concerning Obama's presidency. Mm. And that speech in Cairo University, when he came to Cairo, he promised to solve the Palestinian question. And a lot of people he he had a lot of hopes after yeah, that. That's he right. sent but that. he did it. Mm. At the same time, he is living in the White House and the whole world is in chaos. Because now, in very short words, that terrorism is a danger menacing the whole mankind. Mm. Now, when Mr. Obama is demanding from the Arabs, for example, to recognize Israel as a Jewish state, he is encouraging extremism and fanaticism and fundamentalism in this region. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, uh, I had a lot of uh, fruitful information from both uh, of uh, you, but uh, our time is up. Okay. <laughs> a pleasure to have you both with us, and we hope you join us on debate soon. I'd like to thank you, the viewers, tomorrow, another day, and another debate, and good night.